Hey everyone, so this video is just going to be me showing a deep clean of parts of my kitchen. This is the weekend after Halloween, early morning, and I'm just putting on a little makeup to motivate myself to get moving. I so, here's my finished look. Three colors, really like them. They actually really go with my outfit that I have on. I'm wearing like these um, galaxy pants that my mom got. So here is my kitchen. It's like 6.45 in the morning and we left all of this stuff out. It just was a very hectic weekend with Halloween and then other events going on and my daughter had dance all day so we just kind of left some things and I'm just showing you here my microwave and how filthy it is because it had exploded chili in it and and exploded butter <laughs> and um, the top vents had a lot of grease on it from just cooking so I want to get that off but yeah that's what it's looking like guys So you know when your oven starts to smell every time you turn it on, that's when you know it's really time to clean. So I'm just showing you what it looks like. The top of my stove also needs to be cleaned. And here's my refrigerator. And I just needed to get rid of a lot of old stuff. It's got too much of nothing in there. And I kind of felt like there was a smell. It really needed a good deep clean. So just showing you what it looks like now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out of the fridge. I have a little help. Luckily my oldest daughter woke up just in time to help me get this started. So starting with the freezer, I just got a bucket of very hot water and I filled it up with soapy water and I used Dawn dish soap. And now I'm just gonna scrub out the freezer and you need the warm water, otherwise your water just freeze. Um, so it comes off pretty easily when you do it that way. The next I'm taking the Method Anti-Back and, and I'm giving it a really good wipe down and just making sure I disinfect it. Can't forget about the doors. Going to do the same exact thing. Give them a good scrub down with the soapy hot water and then use the Method Anti-Back for disinfecting. fridge doing the same thing I did in the freezer giving it a really good scrub down and then a really good wipe down with the method anti back to put a lot of the soapy hot water on the bottom of my fridge in order to let it soak and get some of the really stubborn stains off so I ended up getting a towel and just putting it at the edge and scraping all the food and water onto the towel
here I am going in with my anti-back and just giving it a really good wipe down. I'm starting on the fridge door and by now all of my other kids are waking up and so I'm going to get a little helper here <laughs> but I started on the fridge door and initially I was just going to try to wash the little compartments in the bucket of soapy hot water but it wasn't really working well so you'll see me wash those later in the sink. So here I am washing all of the removables in the sink. I wanted to make sure I got them really clean before I put them back in. So here it is. Here is the refrigerator all cleaned and cleared out and ready for the groceries that I will be picking up from Walmart later on this afternoon. So it's about nine o'clock and obviously I started this video around six but I gotta make breakfast and feed my babies before I can continue cleaning and I want to get that out of the way because I know I have to deep clean the stove and the oven Okay, so now it's time to clean the microwave. The stove is still hot, so I'm not gonna touch that yet. And plus, I'm you know, you clean from top to bottom just in case there's any fallout. Um, obviously, microwaves in a state. I'm going to um, use some lemons, lemons that are past their prime, a little soft, but I'm sure they'll work just fine. I'm going to cut them and juice them and then add water and then I'm going to microwave the water for several minutes in a microwave and that is going to help me get all of the stuff from the blown up food and grease in there. Then I'll probably go behind that the lemon with the method heavy degreaser and get all, you know, get everything off um, and yeah.
So I'm just going in with the Method Heavy Duty Degreaser and cleaning the outside vent of the microwave because it's covered in grease. And I'm gonna actually use a toothbrush to do this. And I'm also gonna take a butter knife and use my microfiber towels to really try to get really deep in there and get everything off. So I'm removing the lemon water mixture from my microwave. It's nice and steamed in my microwave. So I'm going to attempt to wipe off everything with a microfiber towel. And as you can see from wiping off the door, it is working very well. And here is the finished cleaned microwave. So Jada and I are just tag teaming in the kitchen to just kind of clear the mess from breakfast and after this, I'm going to go ahead and tackle the stove. So I'm gonna be using Easy Off. I know it's not non-toxic, but honestly, I don't know of any, you know, all natural oven cleaner that can get it off like this. And this is a five minute one. And what I do is I spray it and then I clean off the top and around. You're gonna see me get all, you know, everything around it. I spray it and then however long that takes me, maybe 10, 15 minutes to clean the rest of it, move it and everything. Then I'll come back and clean it. So, yeah. I'll show you this. So I made a rookie mistake and like took a deep breath of the cleaner. Look at my face. I am dying. So I started with the top and then I made sure I pulled out my stove and got the sides using the Method Heavy Duty Degreaser. Please don't forget to pull out your stoves, clean behind them, get the sides because there's so much food build up. And now I'm going into the oven and this is just so satisfying to watch, but it was even more satisfying to do. Look at that oven, guys. It is sparkling. I'm just so happy. <laughs>
right, can I take a video of the kitchen?